Now to the NFL. The Miami Dolphins signing quarterback Jay Cutler to a one-year, $10 million deal. You're supposed to be an analyst for Fox, right? But Colin Kaepernick remains, guess what, unsigned. Interesting. Huh. Joining us now, Jason Whitlock, host of Speak for Yourself. I love that on Fox Sports 1. Jason, thanks for joining us. Uh, is the Cutler deal a sign that no team is even going to look at Kaepernick? I think it's a sign that no team wants to sign Kaepernick. They may be forced to later in the year yeah. if they have serious, serious injuries to the quarterback position. But if I were any team, he's so toxic. He's so uh, illogical in his approach. He doesn't seem really committed to the game of football. He seems more interested in activism. And at the quarterback position, a coach wants you to be all in and, and I think people are being very simplistic and saying, oh, he took a knee and therefore the NFL is blackballing him. There were other, I think there were eight other guys that right. protested the national anthem, either taking a knee, raising a black fist. They're all still in the NFL. And what about it's his this performance, guy though, Jason? Picks up. Kaepernick's performance, is he that good? He's certainly good enough to be a backup quarterback okay. in the National Football League and a starter on bad teams like he was a year ago. Yes, he is good enough. Is he a guy that can still take you to a Super Bowl like he did a few years ago? No. I don't think so. All right, another one for you. During a news conference Friday, uh, Tom Brady refused to say whether he had a concussion last season, but his wife, Giselle, said, oh, yeah, hubby had one. Um, should, it, should he reveal concussion if he did? Probably should if I were running the National Football League, but I think Tom... Brady's a symbol of what the mentality of a lot of NFL players are. It's a yeah. warrior sport. It's a sport where, you, you know, you play through injuries or pains that you don't in other sports and you don't in the rest of your life. Uh, but it's the warrior mentality of football players. I think, you know, a lot of people want the NFL to be perfectly safe. It can't be. It's no different than boxing. It's no right. different than hockey. It's no different than any contact sport. There's a lot of risk to it. These guys are getting paid a lot of money and they're willing to make the sacrifice. You know, Brady turned 40 last week, remarkably. He says he can play another five years till he's 45. Uh, someone earlier said, you know what? He's still got the brain. He's got a good release. Uh, even if he's not as quick as he used to be, he probably could still be effective for five years. What do you think? Ashley, you left off the most important thing. All right. He has a wife. <laughs> who wants him to retire, ah. who's worth more money than yes. he is. <laughs> and so, I, like I say all the time, she's got more than half the money and she's got all the Giselle Bungeon. She's going to get this guy to retire long <laughs> before he's 45. Very well put. I stand corrected. I sit corrected. <laughs> and last one for you, Jason. Uh, Usain Bolt, what happened? Was defeated by Justin Gatlin in the 100 meters of the World Championships this weekend. He is human after all. Listen, Usain Bolt is the most talented sprinter in the history of the planet. Yeah. He's never worked all that hard or as hard as the other sprinters. And so eventually he was going to get caught slipping like he did here where he just wasn't in the kind of shape that, that he's been in in the past. I don't think this is the way he goes out. This was supposed to be his last competitive 100-meter dash. I don't think he goes out on a loss. I think he comes back next year and wins the world championship. More than likely he will. You're right. I mean, so much natural talent, great entertainer. Um, he'll be back for sure. Jason Whitlock, as always, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.